Hi guys, Bobby here. I guess you all know that uh, Horizon is all about car guys, right? Especially uh, all of us in Evo Club, and we all own multiple, multiple cars. I believe every car has a story. Without people salvaging old cars like these, or without people buying performance cars like those, they wouldn't be running around the, the streets, right? And from there onwards, I have all the cars that accompanied me throughout the past 10 years and created all the stories. My latest acquisition, this one, which is a Fiat. And of course, Fiat, for the longest of time, owns Ferrari. And we all know the fuel for Ferrari that delivers unbeatable performance is actually Shell V Power Racing. And to me, I couldn't afford a Ferrari yet, but this is the closest connection I have with what kickstart, kickstarted my journey in forthcoming as becoming a car guy. So guys, this series, I will explore the story of each car that Horizon team members own. And from there, we'll try to tell you what goes behind and hope you enjoy the series and thank you so much to Shell V Power for bringing this to, to all of you. Alright, hope you enjoy this episode. Hi guys, uh, my name is Bobby, Bobby Ang and I'm the founder of Horizon, which also runs Evo Club and EvoMalaysia.com. And this is one of my cars, and I would say it's, it's my favorite car, I would say, even though I, I never thought it would be my favorite, but it became to be. I first saw this car, or this model, this BMW 6 Series model, back in 2011, when they launched the car. And of course, I was mesmerized by it, but never dreamt about it because it was like 800,000 ringgit. Fast forward in 2015, when uh, me and my wife decided to sell off our mini clubman Cooper S to a good friend because that car was approaching 10 years old. And we were in search for another family car. That time I was thinking, oh, all right, I have my wagon, which is my daily, an Audi S4, and then uh, my wife has her Mini, which is a wagon as well. But her Mini, approaching 10 years old, we were thinking of changing to another car. And then I was thinking to have a small little convertible for, for my weekend drives. I love driving. Around the same time, Mazda launched the MX-5, which I really love. Then uh, Mazda was kind enough to pass me the car for a week for test drive. And then I realized it's a little bit too small for me. And then my kid was like asking me, Daddy, where do I sit? And that car has two seats, you know. So that became a, sort of a proposition that I couldn't pursue. So fast forward, when we were in search of the 328i GT, uh, we went to this dealership and the car that, was, that we're seeing is not what they advertise, you know. They advertise really high spec and all that. When we arrived, oh, that car was sold, this is another one, and it was, uh, it was a spec that we don't really like, and somehow this car was there. Fast forward, it was, it was a bit unbelievable because the guy who, who was intending to sell this car was intending to sell it at market price, but it ended up selling it to me at half the market price. We were initially having doubts because my wife was like, hey, this is the kind of car that a Datin would drive, you know? not a layman like us, but we got it for a, for a price that, an entry premium car kind of price. But I was really in love with it because first of all, it serves two purposes. It has a very large boot. It has four seats that can fit a four person family. It's super comfortable. And at the back of my head, I was thinking that, ah, it's gonna be high maintenance because it's a six series. Back then, when it was new, it was 860,000. It's, it's, it's going to be crazy expensive to, to run or maintain. 
So, but nevertheless, we love the car and we got it back and it transformed me in a way because the joy of understanding what it feels like to drive with the top down and created an entire movement of convertibles. I was spreading this, you know, incessantly basically telling every person that I met that I realized I don't need to drive fast to get enjoyment but I can just let the environment absorb in. I hear more, I see more, I feel more, I even smell more when I drive with the top down. And Malaysia is such a beautiful country with all year round weather that I can do this every single morning, every single evening without fail, you know, every, every single day. And there are also people who ask me things like, hey, Malaysia's weather is so hot, why do you want a convertible? And I myself realized this answer. Every single apartment or condominium that has a balcony, if it is not the time for you to walk out to your balcony and sit there, it is also not the time for you to open the top. So, and through these years, I think all in seven years I've owned the car, we have seen such a huge movement of people around me and then around them getting into convertibles. It has become a common sight these days that Malaysians soon warm up to buying convertibles. And uh, I think this car is the, is the harbinger of all that, you know, it, it started the whole thing. Uh, I, I think I can count one, two, three, four, five. I, I think at least five of my colleagues who own a convertible. I've pumped V-Power since day one in this car. Uh, mainly because I, I understand the benefits of it having the additives that cleans engines. The biggest enemy to the burning efficiency of it is the carbon that, was, that has remained behind. That actually changes uh, even the surface of your piston. It changes the, the displacement of your engine in a way. If you, if you allow carbon to, to build up to such an extent, it actually changes the displacement of your engine and even changes your compression of your engine. The funny thing is, if you have a car that doesn't require high RON, but you let carbon build up in such a way that at the end it creates knocking, you require high RON, you know. So the thing is, the most fundamental, most important thing about any engine is being able to clear, clean its carbon. And I stick with V-Power because of its additives that, that really cleanses the engine when it burns. So one, one funny thing is that we, we have a lot of friends in the, in, the, in the industry and one of them is uh, KL Autofoam where he also does uh, hydrogen cleaning of the engine, basically carbon cleaning. And uh, when he was cleaning my cars, he was having a wet cloth or, or was it a wet tissue behind the exhaust waiting for all the carbon soot to be removed and expelled out through the end to show me, you know, how much cleaning has been done. And after the whole session, he was seeing so few carbon on his wet tissue, he straight up asked me, Bobby, you always pump V-Power, is it? And I was like, oh, okay. That was my first uh, uh, proof for myself that this actually works. Uh, of course, I mean, I can't see inside the engine daily, right? But yeah, I've stick to it since then. And um, up till now, today, this car has required very, very little uh, maintenance. I would say I was surprised by it. It, was, it is so reliable and uh, so comfortable. And uh, I, just, I, I just love it. And I've had offers from people wanting to buy my car, roughly at the same price that I bought it seven years ago. Can you believe it? But it just doesn't tell me because I, I don't think there is another car out there at this kind of price that I can buy and enjoy and use daily, reliably. And it's also super fuel efficient. I, get, I still get about 500 km from full tank. This is a 400 horsepower car. So, um, and, and, with this convertible, we, we also created a convertible club and make so many friends from people who drive convertibles and 
and I look forward to go many, many more places. Over the years, the things that I've done to this car includes um, uh, quite a big change, actually. Now, um, this car was in a very beautiful, subtle grey colour, but it was last year I uh, decided to give it a full colour change. As you can see, the blue colour here. It's actually a custom blue. I, I, I gave it the name Enduro Blue. It looks different under sunlight and in shadows. So there is a dynamism to it. In the shadows, it will look like a flat dark blue. But in the sunlight, you will see all the metallic flickers coming up alive. I've also given the engine an upgrade. Originally, it produced 320 horsepower. Now it produces 400 horsepower. And then now I've upgraded the wheels. This, is, uh, this brand is called DRC. It's an interesting thing because I wanted something different. I wanted something I don't like. This is not the typical kind of design that I like. But if we're doing something, I'm, because I'm not someone who will modify the exterior of the car you know, extensively. But if I'm uh, working with somebody to create something, let it be a little bit outrageous. So kind of like these wheels. It's, it's a combination of two types of design. These guys, they are able to customize any design subjected it passed their simulation loading test. Other than that, I've, I've not done much. Uh, a big shout out to uh, Darren, my good friend, who has been detailing this car, keeping it in this, the way it looks. Yeah, some other friends of the industry who helped me maintain my car. So I foresee I'm gonna own this car for a rather long time. All right, so this is me and my car, my BMW 640i convertible. We're gonna shoot we're going to have other episodes, which includes Nas Abdullah, Thomas, Chris Wee, basically the team from Horizon. I'm going to shoot a series with them of me and my car where they pick one car out of all they own and uh, tell a story about them or the favourite car that they own and tell a story about it. So stay tuned to this, me and my car, brought to you by Shell V-Power.